the solution to this example, what we would normally do is start on the calculations. To make it go a bit quicker, I click on this mouse here, on the cell here, I go to formulas. I hover my mouse over trace precedent, put my finger on the arrow, and then fairly quickly, I can do a whole section. So you can see this looks a little bit strange. So let's just highlight those two and put it in a different color. Then it's always a good idea, remove the arrows because eventually it gets too messy. Let's go look here. Okay, so that pattern looks nice. You may question that one. In this case, we think it's okay, but you may question it. Let's go down here. Okay, you can see it looks very nice. Nice pattern. Okay, so something's not right there, so let's highlight that. What's interesting about this error is the number isn't wrong. By sheer coincidence, these two numbers are the same percentage, so that number is correct. Why this is an issue is someone may look at this, pull out a calculator, see that this is right, assume the spreadsheet's right, and then at another stage change that number to say 40% and expect it to work. So in this case, the fact that the number is correct doesn't mean the formula is correct. You'll notice when it's some sort of a sum or average, it draws a blue box around the area it's looking at. So it's important to see that you agree with the area. If we do this one, you'll see that those last two seem to be a pattern that's probably incorrect. That looks okay. That looks okay. And that looks okay. So those are the ones that we'd have to worry about.